Hey everybody, good afternoon. I'm just popping in real quick uh, because as some of you know, I've been on this transition journey, right? Some of you know we um, moved in the fall from Minnesota to Atlanta and I've been on this journey and I've taken some of you along this journey with me So I am just giving you an update on what's going on. Lots of great things have been going on as um, I make this transition But um, something happened today that just got me mm, Feeling some kind of way, right? Um, I'm getting ready for my trip to Senegal and you know, I go uh, to to Senegal once a year to work with my nonprofit organization Project Safety Nets and we do lots of great things there with especially women and children. Hey cousin, I'm so glad you're here all the way from Jamaica. <laughs> or are you in Jamaica? Um and so uh today I was just um I was just sharing with somebody on the phone. I said, you know what? It's two weeks away from my trip and I am feeling a little um mm, a little unsettled one because everything is so different about this time this is my 10th trip to Senegal but things are a little different so let me give you a sneak peek of uh, some of some of the things that are different usually when I'm packing for the trip usually for the let's see the the last month before my trip, you can't even walk in my living room, right? And some of you have been to my house to help me pack, help me sort and take inventory and make sure we have everything we need for the trip. But today, as I pulled my stuff together for the trip, I was looking around. Let me see if I could change the view here. I was looking around. This is, I'm in my son's room. And this is all I have to pack. And I have my bags here. I have my stuff here getting ready. And that's all I have to pack. So, you know, there's a little mixed feelings, some mixed feelings about that. Is this a good thing? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I just know that it's different because usually... Uh, for the past 10 years, I've had a, you know, room full of stuff to try to make sense of. Definitely different. Okay. So I, I'm just going with the flow. I'm believing God to make the way and, um, I'm believing that I'll have everything that I need. One thing I will say though is while I was, um, planning while I was moving, I did gather two barrels of supplies and we shipped those ahead. So the barrels just made it to Senegal. And so we, we do have some supplies on that side. And I think um, one of the things that I'll do is I'll work on getting some of the things there that I can purchase on that side, like aspirin. Um, I will need to buy some Tums and some A&D ointment because I can't really find that over there. Or I'll take those and donations if people want to donate that kind of stuff. So I, um, yeah, I'm feeling some kind of way about, about this being a part of the transition and it being a little different. Um, I'm going to pop on a little later to share with you how you can help support us because we still need more funding to purchase uh, our mosquito bed nets. We still need more funding uh, support to to work with um, the different people that we're working with in Senegal. Um, hey, Lady V, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Mr. Samba. Hey, Marlon, glad you're here. And um, so let me give you a tip before I get off. Packing. These are things that I've learned through trial and error, right? I'm going to uh, turn my screen back around. Now, this, I no longer bring suitcases on my trip this is how I travel I travel with these big big um, canvas bags 
And why? Because suitcases weigh about 15 pounds themselves. And then I'm only allowed 50 pounds per bag and I'm allowed two bags to travel. So I use these big canvas bags to pack 50 pounds of, um, of supplies. And I don't just throw my supplies in my bags. I put them in plastic bags like these. So I wrap them in the plastic bag, I tie them, I write my, my weight, I weigh each plastic bag, I write the weight on it, and then I put them inside the canvas bags and, um, and get up to 50 pounds. So if I have to remove, <laughs> magnifi, <laughs> Marlin, magnifi, if I have to remove some of the, the supplies, I don't have to take the whole bag out. I just take out um, the, the amount of weight to adjust it so that I'm 50 pounds. Okay. The other thing that I do is I copy. Let's see if you can see this. I copy the front page of my passport with my picture. I'm not going to show you my picture because it has all my information there. But I copy this and I insert this in each of my bags. So I put my passport and I put my phone number in country. I put my phone number on, on that where I'm going to stay. And I put it in each bag that I'm taking with me. So those are some quick tips uh, unpacking. Oh, here's another thing. I carry my money on me. Okay. I carry my money on me in this little body pouch. And so usually the night before my trip, my friend Natalie, she'll come over and she'll count out all my money for the different, uh, projects that we're working on. And, um, and I'll put them in here and then I'll strap this under my clothes and I'll tuck it in my undergarment so that if the strap if the buckle comes loose let me show you the buckle if that comes loose it still won't go anywhere so that's how how I travel this other bag right here I care I wear this around my neck and I put my passport in it a small notebook a pen my driver's license and a few loose cash um, yeah, so getting ready for this trip. I'm so excited. I, I can't wait. Um, Marlon, I hope you can come with me one day. 2019 is going to be a great year uh, for our trip to Senegal. So if you are here with me or you're catching me on the replay, I'm still accepting donations um, our goal is to work with one of the houses that host uh, abused young women and um, we're gonna do some work there uh, for this this is I'm, I'm really excited about this because my vocation and my passion comes together in this I get to use my psychotherapy skills um, to work with these young women and I'm so so excited about it um, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. And so it's uh it, it's a it's a place where we're going with Project Safety Nets where I'm not so divided doing one work over here and then my nonprofit work over there. I'm kind of merging them so it looks really cohesive in what I'm doing. And um and I believe that there's no greater joy than when your vocation um meets your passion and that's where you find your purpose in life and I'm so glad and I feel really blessed that I found my purpose in life which is instilling hope and helping others and um, I'm so glad I'm so glad about it hey Chris hey Trina thanks for popping on I'm just talking about my trip to Senegal I'm talking about how different it is packing this year um, where usually I have like three or four people at my house helping to sort through my whole living room full of stuff. And this year I, I only have, I'm going to show you guys who just popped on. I only have this little tub right here with uh, flip flops. I always bring flip flops and toothbrush, toothpaste, aspirin and different things like that. And that's all I have. And, um, you know, I don't know yet if it's good or bad. It's and it doesn't have to be either. It's just different. 
is different this year. Hey, BJ, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Sister Helen. Um, I'm so glad you're here. So I'm preparing for Senegal and on the re play you all can catch me i talked about some tips in packing oh here's one other thing that i pack up oh, let me flip my camera so i can show you i always have my bible with me purple Woo! that's my favorite color and um yeah again i don't i no longer carry suitcases i carry these big canvas bags as soon as i get to the airport i you know pay five dollars get a cart throw them on there and um and wheel them <laughs> to the check-in right um yeah bj you need to be going girl I'm sure they miss you and people ask for you every time I'm there. They ask for you and Big Lee <laughs> and Linda. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited. I am really excited. Yes, I no longer carry suitcases. Suitcases are at least 15 pounds and that takes away from my free 50 pounds that I have to bring. And these bags are really good because when I bring back stuff let's say I bring back a drum you know I could slide it right in this bag and pad it with some um some fabric or something right so that's yes Trina I always carry my word in my heart and in my bag <laughs> another thing that I carry is this bag this bag I don't carry a purse I put Oh, I can't carry this one. Look at that. The strap is breaking, but I have several other ones. But I'll carry a bag like this. And it has, um, when I have them make my bags like this, I have them make compartments inside. So I could slide my pens, you know, my mm, whatever else I need. I carry a lot of stuff. I could slide them in those little compartments in the bag. So I have them specially make these bags with compartments in them for me. Hey, Regina, so glad you're popping on. I'm talking about my trip to Senegal. I'm two weeks away and um, I'm still raising funds. So if anybody here still, there's still time to donate and help us reach our goal. But I'm also sharing tips about packing and um and making this trip uh you know as stress free as possible. So this bag won't go because the strap is breaking. I'll have to go in my other room and get another bag um, because that one won't work. Yeah. Oh sure, BJ. I'm gonna drop the link. It's um it's www.paypal.me backslash project safety nets so i'll drop the link on this and i'm also gonna talk about um a way if uh one of the promotions that i'm gonna do is for everyone who donate they can have a chance to do a 15 minute consultation with me again one of my goals is to merge and make the different areas of my life kind of a little more cohesive and so um that's 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 coming out soon i'm gonna uh put that out on facebook real soon thank you cousin i know god will make um oh you say god made me special oh thank you thank you um i appreciate that uh regina you're going to ghana in may that is so exciting oh my gosh I'm also going with Bolo Jalo. We're leading a group of doctors and nurses from Minnesota. We're going back to Senegal in July. So I'm excited about that too. But you know, the, the merging is really good. And um, I'm so excited that I'm going to uh, start working with this, the women at this uh, house. And they, you know, these are girls who have been, um, like prostituted or they have um they have gone through a child bride or you know they've been hurt or defiled in in different ways and abused and so what they do is they go to this the safe house and um they learn skills and they learn a different they learn different trades and things like that so i am going to be able to go there and offer psychotherapy um 
and some counseling for them as they rebuild and restructure their life. And this is such a great way for the different areas of my life to come together and um, emerge together. So I'm not going to be pulled in all these different directions. I'm so excited to be able to use my vocation um, because like I said earlier, it's such a wonderful thing when your purpose, when your uh, passion and your vocation can come together, you walk in purpose. And that's the way that God is leading me um, now. And I'm walking in purpose. I found my purpose in, in Senegal. And so no matter how it looks, <laughs> this little thing right here, BJ, you know how Margaret's house <laughs> used to look when she's getting ready from, for Senegal in my house similarly. But no matter how it looks, I believe that God is going to provide our every need. And um, I believe we'll have everything that we need. And I'm just so excited. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to drop a link and um, feel free to share this out and um, invite people. This is a tax deductible contribution that you can help. Um, you can make to help this uh, cause happen. Well, it's gonna happen. It'll just be a lot easier with some help. All right. <laughs> yes, God always provides, girl. He always provides, and I'm. So, <laughs> and I just when when it looks like um it gets a little dreary and a little discouraging, all I have to do is sit and look back at the pictures and think about. Oh yes, he made a way here. Yes, he provided there, and um, and it's not just money, you know, it's not just finances. He laid um us on people's heart and has given us favor in so many, so many ways, and that's why we're able to celebrate ten years of Project Safety Nets working in Senegal and other West African countries like Togo, Ghana, um, and the Gambia. And this is so exciting. And um, this is my life's work. So I thank you all. Thank you, Regina. Prayers are welcome. And yes, it will be. Um, it, you know what? Prayers are welcome. And they go further than money, I tell you. Because they go to the heart of men. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Thank you for joining. And I will. Um, yeah. 10 years with Project Safety Nets. Yes, I, that's my godmother started it 20 years ago and um, I started working, yeah, 10 years. So we're very excited about that. And um, I just thank God for counting me worthy with this. Um, so I'm going to pop off and I thank you all for joining and I will drop a few links in this in the comment section and um, keep us in your prayers. God bless you all. <laughs> thanks bj i love you girl i love being connected to you and i'm gonna be uh taking you all along on the journey in senegal i'm you know how i post every day what's happening i'm gonna do some lives from there too yes regina this is a great legacy and um she's done a great work and you know i I'm just blessed. I am totally blessed. And I consider myself an ambassador for the people here who can't go or who want to go, but can't go. I consider myself an ambassador. Um, okay, Marlon, you got me on that phrase because I'm not, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what that one says. Um, I don't, speak that much French. I still speak a little French and I need to be speaking more. I need to be speaking more Wolof as well. <laughs> so interpret for me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Hey, is this is Stacy. I miss you. Hey, Zena. Um, parler français un peu français. <laughs> yes, just a little, just a little French <laughs> and a little wool off. And I need to be talking more French and more wool off. Thank you, cousin. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Have a great day and keep an eye out for more information about Project Safety Nets because we're going to do this thing 10 years. God bless. Bye-bye.